This video is to show how to operate automatic Marshall Stability Compression Tester. Technical specification for the apparatus. The standard use for the apparatus. Set consists of the apparatus. Connect displacement and load cell cable to the port at the back of the machine. Push on the main switch. Attach the S load cell to the parallel bar. Then attach the plunger to the S load cell. Secure the parallel bar by tightening the nut. Place the transducer inside the braking head of stability mold then tighten it. Press down button to lower the plate. Immediately place the specimen into the Marshall stability mold then place the mold onto the plate. After tighten the knob, adjust the adjustable anvil. Make sure it touch before start the test. Adjust the height of the plunger from the mold at 20 mm by turn down the parallel bar or press move up button to lift up the plate. Press test button to start. The testing process will begin automatically until sample fail. The test result will be displayed on the screen. The instrument automatically controls the mechanical part and loaded at a constant rate of deformation of 5 mm mean until failure. The result will automatically be saved when the test completed. Press data button to view the result. Press the data button to retrieve previous testing results. To select the other test number, press up or down button. In case if the instrument overload, stop the test immediately by press the stop button. Press the menu button for setting adjustment. The total maximum in KN that causes failure of the specimen is taken as Marshall stability. The stability value obtained is corrected for volume. The total amount of deformation is unit of 0.25 mm that occurs at maximum load is recorded as flow value. The total time between removing the specimen from the water bath and completion of the test should not exceed 30 seconds. If 6 inch mold specimen being used, install the short plunger into the S tight load cell, but if 4 inch mold specimen being used, install the long plunger into the S tight load cell.